Hello, my name is Juuso Ketola and I'm from the Medical Physics and Radiology Department from the Helsinki University Hospital Medical Imaging Center. In this video, I will go through how to perform automated tube current modulation quality assurance in a quick and simple way. As you know, tube current modulation is an integral part of any modern CT scanner as it improves patient dose optimization and allows standardized image quality in each CT slice and the acquired imaging data. As such, constancy of TCM is an important factor to keep track of in the quality assurance program. In this video, we propose a quick and practical method for automated TCM QA using standard phantoms and simple code that could be performed by, for example, a trained radiographer in just a few minutes. We used the head and the body CT dosimeter phantoms in the scan. The head phantom was mounted on the head support of the patient table and the body phantom was placed next to the head phantom on its side. The phantoms were centered as shown in the figure here. Then we acquired a posterior anterior scout image and scanned helically using these parameters. The scan parameters don't have to be as listed here. The most important part is to keep them constant in consecutive scans and to allow a full range of tube current values used in the modulation. Here's the scout image of the phantom setup. As you see, arranging the phantoms this way provides a dynamic target for the TCM, including a constant and a continuously changing attenuation target, as well as a discontinuity between the phantoms. Here you can see a walkthrough of the scanning process. The phantoms are placed, as described in the previous slides. And then centered to the center of the body phantom. At the scanner, we have a preset protocol that can be used for scanning the phantom. First, the scout image is taken. The scan area is pre-planned to include a couple of centimeters extra from the sides of the phantoms. And finally, the actual CT scan is taken. That's all. The data can be sent to a processing server directly from the scanner or retrieved from a PAX for analysis. Our code was implemented in MATLAB and it simply extracts the tube current from the DICOM header of each CT slice. The MA profile of the scan can be then compared with a reference scan and different error and constancy metrics can be computed and visualized over time. As of now, our analysis computes the root mean squared error of the MA profile, but it could be easily extended to include more parameters such as noise evaluation. Thanks for watching this video. Here are my contact details if you have any questions. Have a nice Congress and a good time in Dublin.